Oh, no. It's him, love. That's Joe. I've been up here too long. You turn a blind eye, the odd bottle of whiskey here, the odd carton of fags there. Yeah, but it was a bit more than that this time, wasn't it, Ted? Two of your mates got a good going over. You just get sucked in. There's nothing we can do will stop it. For God's sake, why? You're two years from retirement. Stupid question. You of all people... Oh, do me a favour, will you? Spare me the bent copper speech. I've made a mistake, I'm going to have to pay for it. Don't patronise me. Describe him. It's <clears throat> about your build. I'll get my hands on him. My name is Sisyphus. I can tell you that didn't help much. I know what it's like to be picked on at school, just like that little chap over there. But the kid and I are slightly different. Nobody picks on me anymore. Not since I learned karate. <laughs> oh. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate. Look, Meg, it's one thing you topping some junkie who owes him. Nobody gives a shit how they come to be floating down the river. But killing a copper, that's something else. It's only ever happened twice up here. I worked on one of the investigations. You can't imagine what it's like. It takes on a momentum all of its own. There's no stone left unturned, no place to hide. It's only a matter of time, sooner or later. Do I smell brown stuff? You're damn right you do. I want no part of it. You have heard from the defense that always a jealous and paranoid man, the turning point in Charles's behavior was the death of his mother, an idol to Charles. He came to believe that the world was a cruel and evil place that harmed all. Through some twisted logic, he decided to retreat from society and take his family with him. This sent Charles spiraling into madness. I've been a fool, I know. You can say that again. When I found out about the clash of dates, it hit me like a freight train. I thought I was over Sally's death, but... We spent a whole life together and lots of things were left unresolved. If I neglect her memory, all that time will seem nothing. I understand. But where do I fit in? Ah, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not explaining this very well. I've been sitting here running over my lines, and when the time comes to see it all, I, I just don't know how. You don't love me as much as you loved Sally, is that it? No, oh, it's not that at all. I love you every bit as much as Sally. Well, probably more. Only it's different. Uh, I don't want to go on without you, Helen. I can't go on without you. So, what are you proposing? Well, I know I've been a prize idiot. And I'm as sorry, sorry as a man can be. But if you could forgive and, and marry me, after all, you'd make me the happiest man on earth. At 18.25 this evening, we responded to an emergency call after a member of the public reported to hearing gunfire emanating from Prothero Enterprises. Officers arrived at the scene to discover two bodies with fatal gunshot wounds. It has since been discovered that all CCTV footage from the site has been removed, presumably by the suspect, who is still at large and considered to be extremely dangerous.
While we are hopeful that forensics will discover some evidence, we implore anyone who has any information that might be helpful to our investigation to contact us immediately. Thank you.